For August, the angels say to accept yourself with unconditional love, to see your divinity and spread it to the world, believing in yourself as a powerful light worker. Self-love, self-nurturing, self-esteem are all themes as well as finding your place and your stance in the world. The angels and fairies as well as other spiritual beings are telling you that they are here. They're helping you recognize your need to ground and center yourself and anchor yourself to earth. In fact, you can visualize that. And they're also helping you with your manifesting. And when I say manifesting, it's more the connection to what your soul really wants and really needs at every present moment. And that can change. But even though you can flow with the winds of change, something beneath you is solid. Something within you is pure and true and you have roots firmly planted to the ground and that's what they're saying that if you haven't found that already to try and visualize that and bring that into your energy and focus they say for you to recognize your own individual gifts and abilities as you are indeed a light worker a spreader of light love and healing and you have that seed of potential within you if you do not believe it for yourself. So they are encouraging you to find your soul's sense of essence and to not worry too much about what exactly your purpose is. It need not be clear to you right now, but steps will be given one at a time. You have the power to share, to uplift and to inspire. So know that now is the perfect time for you to act on your dreams and inspirations with your angels right by your side. That's why meditating and taking time to yourself is so important. They really say to trust and honour yourself and then to believe in yourself, your innermost self and to remember that when you project your outer self forward what they're saying right now to believe and trust also in God and the angels whatever supreme higher spiritual realms or energy that you believe in and trust that they will pull you through and that anytime you are feeling down or that you are being pulled in the wrong direction or you feel your your energy is just being misplaced distracted or even uh, attacked by somebody else or something else. Know that it can be so simple to get your energy back to yourself and to believe that for yourself and they draw attention to this rose quartz crystal. And I have a healing page on my website, the links below, if you'd like to just click onto it and rest your weary soul, they say, onto the page. And just relax and absorb the loving and healing energy in powerful rays. And if you have a rose quartz crystal yourself, have it around you. Or just visualize it yourself. And the heart is also a powerful symbol, they say. And you can draw a picture of a heart and pop it under a, a glass of water that you bless by your own intentions as well. So they say to be mindful not to procrastinate and to be that wild horse that you truly are, believing in yourself, believing that you are growing, believing that you are expanding. Success, growth, fertility and abundance is yours. And you are so, so supported. So there are many wonderful blessings and outcomes there for you. So they say to see the joy and feel the music in your own heart and life. And to listen with your outer ear to music, sounds, tunes, lyrics, conversations 
This is your clear audience, listening with your outer as well as your inner ear. There is also a message about cleansing and detoxification. I'm feeling also releasing of energy that no longer serves you and I'm feeling it very strongly like tied up in my gut. So this signifies nurturing of not only yourself in general but your inner body and thus and also your outer spirit in deep levels. So our bodies are becoming lighter due to energy frequencies and changes that are becoming higher and we're absorbing these as we're rid of toxins and old ways of the world. So the angels say they wish to make this process easier and there's also, they're adding an acknowledgement of sorrow and sadness for some. And as I mentioned before, in that gut, the solar plexus area, some of you are literally holding things in your gut. I can feel that so strongly. This brings back that sense of power, self-power for you to manifest and bring back to yourself. Just like envisioning the sun in all its glory with all its rays spreading outwards. That's what they would like you to keep as a sacred symbol for yourself. You can meditate upon the idea of the sun. And also it's connected to Leo, the star sign that is for August. And I write about that more in my newsletter. So the link's below if you'd like more spiritual guidance and information. So there's also a relation with this to your weight, as well as the notion of holding fluid, like fluid retention, so physical weight. And also I'm feeling they're saying the weight of the world you sometimes carry on your shoulders, the burdens um, that you, and the limitations and burdens that you put on yourself, but also your family and the outside world and all those pressures. They are saying that you are shedding and ridding of old ways so powerfully as well as your physical weight and all weight, energy, the weight of energy, the weight of the burdens as I mentioned, emotional weight and mental weight. They also say that they can relieve you from stress, worries and concerns. So just go ahead and ask them. They're saying to go forward fearlessly. Decide in this moment to be happy right now. Know in your heart that you are safe that your loved ones are safe and your home. It's goodbye to anything old, anything from your past that no longer serves you. And hello to beautiful new healing energy that you can manifest for yourself and it is there for you. But it's about letting go and knowing that everything is okay. They remind you to be assertive, to stand your ground, to stand up for your beliefs, Say no when you want to and yes when you want to. Practice, practice, practice your spiritual, anything spiritual in your life. Techniques, rituals, thoughts, ways, but also practice anything else that you need to in your life to do with work, career, projects, hobbies and so on. Because you will get there, they're saying, one step at a time and we will show you the way. Just trust and persist. That's a strong message too. Meditate, believe and trust and move forward fearlessly. Fear is the enemy. Fear is darkness. Fear is the opposite of light. So let's remove that now and let's absorb the healing powerful rays of love, light and pure wisdom and truth. For you are a powerful light worker and you deserve all goodness in your life. Remember that you're a sensitive soul. Remember that you are an empath. You absorb energy. You are a being of compassion. Angels speak of getting back to nature 
and back to your natural self. Nature is such a pure healing energy. So just go out, open the doors, open the windows, let light in the house, step out onto the grass, go for walks, anywhere where you can go in nature to absorb pure healing energy. They say you are growing and you are blooming and you are filling with light. In your life, know that not only everything's okay and you have the power to let go. Even of past life issues and dramas and karmic connections. And this might be a time of getting to know people again or in relationships, spending time with them and retuning, refocusing, putting a new angle and slate on relationships. They also say to do some research as more information is needed in something in your life. So that would be different for each person. And they point out the image of hair as a symbol, so the hair on your head. So this can literally relate to your hair or someone close to you, um, the condition of the hair. Perhaps you're wanting to grow it or cut it. It also can signify your hair is representing spirituality and wisdom. You know how they say your crown of glory. And there's no accident in that because your crown is your crown chakra above your head. So it represents spirituality, wisdom, sacredness, goddessness, your sense of self, and that comes back to self-love. So those are the messages that the angels wish to bring forth. Some of those messages were ones that I mentioned in my year video for 2014 already, such as the hair. And then as I read it out, I looked at some cards and intuitively voiced what the angels wanted to bring forward to you. Thank you so much for listening. Namaste.